Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast and the problem reads uh, replace the force system uh, replace the force system acting on the beam by an equivalent force and couple moment at A and B both these problems are coming from uh, the engineering mechanics uh, statics uh, textbook the 10th edition by RC Hibela so let's start with case case 1 which is 4-99 and uh, we have uh, and uh, let's uh, replace the forces where we have the slanted forces with their components so we have a component there in that direction like so right mm -hmm. and another component like so okay and then we'll have another component for that other one like so and another component like so all right let's replace this with their magnitudes so this is going to be equal to 1.5 um 1.5 uh cos 30 then this one will be 1.5 sine 30 this one is going to be equal to 2.5 times the rise which is 3 divided by the hypotenuse 5 and then this one is going to be equal to 2.5 by the run which is 4 divided by 5 great so let's start with the summation of forces in the x summation of forces in the x in this direction being our reference positive so we are saying this is going to be equal to the resultant x component so what do we have we have a minus 2.5 by 4 divided by 5 then plus 1.5 sine 30 therefore f r x is just going to be equal to where is my calculator minus 2.5 by 4 divided by 5 plus 1.5 sine 30 so this gives us a minus 1.25 kilo newtons. Then the summation of forces in the y going up in our reference. This is equal to FRY. And this is going to be equal to minus 2.5 by 3 divided by 5 minus 1.5 cos 30 and minus 3 therefore FRY is just going to be equal to minus 2.5 by 3 divided by 5 minus 1.5 cos 13 and minus 3 so this gives us a minus 5.8 Eight zero kilonewtons. Okay. Right. Have we done everything? Mm -hmm. We have. So minus two point five uh, by three divided by five minus one point five cos thirty and minus three. All right let's find the resultant the resultant therefore is just going to be equal to square root of minus 1.25 squared plus minus 5.8 squared okay what do we get what do we get 
fr is just going to be equal to 1.25 squared plus 5.8 squared square root of that we get a 5.93 kilo newtons okay 5.8 squared plus 1.25 squared square root of that is 5.93 right so now let's find the moment we say summation of moment about point a and clockwise been our reference about point a we have negative there from 2.5 by 3 over 5 times the lever arm which is 2 another negative 1.5 cos 30 times the lever arm which is 6 and another one which is 3 by 8 therefore summation of moment about point A is just going to be equal to that's minus 2.5 times 3 divided by 5 times 2 minus 1.5 cos 30 times 6 minus 3 times minus 3 times 8 so this gives us a minus 34.79 kilo newton meters minus 2.5 by 3 divided by 5 by 2 1.5 cos 13 by 6 minus 3 by 8 84.79 okay so let's draw this one all right so initially we had two forces there we had uh, um, okay it's fine we are going to draw it let's draw it So something like this before we draw it we need the angle so theta is just going to be equal to tan inverse of uh, 5.8 change in y divided by the change in x so these are both negative but they'll cancel out so let me just indicate let me just indicate fry divided by frx okay we know already fry and frx just fit them there so we have negative 5.8 divided by negative 1.25 turn inverse of that we have a seventy seven point eight four degrees. So five point eight divided by one point two five, the negatives will cancel seventy seven point eight four. So let's draw that quickly. So there we go. This part is B, we have a B there. So when you look at uh, the components, we had uh, FRA, FRY negative and FRX negative. So therefore the result and to be like that. And we'll have the angle there, okay, which is a 77.84. Alright. So I'm just going to show the resultant. So the resultant going to be something like this okay all right and then I just want to extend this a little bit so that I'm able to draw the angle so we have the angle there and we say this is 77.84 right 84 degrees and this one, this is our theta, 
and then Farah is equal to um five point nine three kilo newtons and then we have the negative moment clockwise like so this point is a so this negative moment which is ma ma is equal to 34.79 kilonewton meters so this is about it for this one let's go to case number two uh case uh four dash one zero zero for this one um fr i will not change right fr will be the same it will be 5.93 kilonewtons and so is the angle it won't change it will be the same okay it's only the moment that will change summation of moment about point b and clockwise being our reference so this will give us a positive moment 2.5 3 divided by 5 by the lever arm which is 6 and then we'll have 1.5 cos 30 times the lever arm which is 2 3 will not give us any moment because the lever arm is 0 therefore moment about point B is just going to be equal to that's 2.5 by 3 divided by 5 by 6 plus 1.5 cos 30 by 2 so this gives us 11.60 kilonewton meters positive so let's draw it let's draw it like so this point is A this point is a all right so direction is going to be the same the moment will have the same direction I mean the the force same magnitude <coughs> same direction okay so theta is just going to be equal to 77.84 degrees and FRR is just going to be equal to 5.93 kilo newtons and the moment is anti-clockwise so the moment is like so and MB is just going to be equal to 11. Point six zero kilonewton meters so this point here is b right of course i just want to write theta there i want to have it outlined all right let's outline the solutions we have uh, uh the result and force which is common to both of them case one and two and the angle is common to both of them then we have the moment summation of moment about point a which is negative or clockwise of course like we said result and force and the direction for the force are the same we have a clockwise moment I mean anti-clockwise moment, counterclockwise moment which is positive about point B. 
Right, this is about it and I hope the video was helpful and if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye, -bye and see you in my next uh, screencast.